Also on the sidelines of the NPC, the foreign minister talked about China's Belt and Road Initiative, a project to revive regional economies by reestablishing the ancient Silk Roads on land and sea. Minister Wang said the plan will benefit China and the rest of the world. The initiative is a response to the universal call for development and cooperation by Asian and European countries. It shows that China is turning rapidly from a mere participant in the international system into a public good provider. The Belt and Road Initiative follows the principle of joint consultation and contribution and sharing of benefits. More than 30 countries have joined the initiative and 70 others have shown interest. The Asian Development Bank has launched a special fund for the Belt and Road Initiative. Joining me for some analysis on China's diplomacy and its relations with the U.S. in particular is Zhu Jiechuan. He's the director of the China Institute at Bucknell University. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Yilin. You heard our correspondent in Beijing a moment ago. Do you think there is currently a smooth diplomatic environment when China is, when China is concerned? Uh, well, depending on uh, which country you're talking about, it, between China and the United States or between China and North Korea? I'd say both. Both, okay. Uh, I think on both accounts, uh, the relationships are not very smooth. Uh, regarding uh, North Korea, uh, as you know, uh, uh, Prime Minister, uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi only called North Korea uh, normal state-to-state -state relations, not an ally anymore. And of course, for the United States, I think the tensions are pretty high now in the South China Sea area. Foreign Minister Wang was recently here in Washington meeting with his counterpart, John Kerry. They spoke at length about this, uh, and they actually led the way for the new sanctions on the DPRK, a major example of these two countries working together. So do you think we'll continue to see more of that when it comes to other major issues around the world? I think so, uh, because the U.S.-China relationship is marked by competition and cooperation. So on some issues, they will cooperate. Uh, but on other issues, they may not. On this particular issue of North Korea nuclear program, I think uh, it is in both countries' interests of uh, denuclearized North Korea. So that's why, after a long and tough negotiations, they did agree that uh, you know United Nations needs to push for a tougher sanction against North Korea. So that's an example of area they uh, agree and they cooperate, but not all in all areas. Oh, they also agreed uh, on the Iran nuclear deal. That was a pretty big deal as well. But, uh, you know, as you mentioned, there is some disagreement between them when it comes to the South China Sea. What do you think it will take to get both countries on the same page on this particular issue? I think uh, both countries need to uh, move to decrease tensions over there, uh, de-escalate uh, conflict over there. Uh, for example, uh, China probably needs to uh, refrain from uh, further land reclamation and uh, infrastructure building in those islands. And for the United States, I don't think it's a good idea to uh, send uh, warships, aircraft carrier to the region uh, in the name of uh, freedom of navigation. I think uh, both powers need to sit down and uh, really calmly talk about the situation. I think uh, these differences can be resolved diplomatically. President Xi Jinping will be back in Washington for the nuclear summit at the end of this month. What do you think we should watch for on the sidelines with President Xi, Barack Obama, and some of the other foreign leaders here during this visit? I'm pretty sure they will cover a climate change issue. They will talk about the South China Sea situation. I think they also will cover China-Japan relations. I think that President Obama probably will push for improvement in Japan-China relations. Uh, uh, but, the, of course, the priority is the nuclear uh, issue, and uh, I, I hope that uh, they will find more common ground uh, through this meeting. All right. Professor Ju, thank you so much for joining us from Pennsylvania. My pleasure.